Hey there everybody, this is Matt of Cigar Hound Dog with another cigar review and today I'll be smoking The New World Dorado by AJ Fernandez in Figurado. This is a 6x56 box press Figurado. Very nice ornate presentation here. Really like the color scheme. The only drawback is right here. Little bit of a messy application of the wrapper here at the foot. That should not affect the overall performance, but I'll keep my eye on it. There's the rest of the wrapper. Rich caramel color. Have a fine tooth on that wrapper as well. And there is the band. Beautiful band, beautiful color scheme. Really digging it on this one. Yeah, as far as the blend goes here, this is a Nicaraguan Puro, so every leaf is comprised of Nicaraguan tobacco. I'll never get tired of saying that. But yeah, as far as my previous experience with AJ Fernandez, the last one I smoked and reviewed was the Nicaraguan series by AJ Fernandez. I was blown away by that cigar. Typically, I'm not the biggest AJ Fernandez fan because he tends to make really pepper heavy cigars, but that Nicaraguan series by AJ Fernandez wasn't too peppery and it was just a damn tasty treat of a smoke. So if you see that one, I highly recommend it. And because of my previous experience with that one, I am looking forward to this Dorado. Let's get it cut up, lit up, and see what we have. Great draw. Let's light it up. Let's take off the little foot band here first. Just slides off, there we go. Now let's light it up. This is certainly starting off like an AJ Fernandez cigar. You guessed it, a lot of pepper through the retro, red pepper slightly stinging through the sinus. It's got that pepper. Uh, plenty of mesquite wood through the retro and palate as well. Getting just this faint amount of Granny Smith apple sweetness only on the palate. With that pepper at the forefront here. But yeah, at this point, medium to full body, long finish, and a slightly aired smoke texture because of that pepper. I'm expecting this one to change up quite a bit. We'll see what happens though. So I'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the first third here. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the first third. Beautiful burn line, nice looking ash that's still holding on, and a lot of smoke output. So right now, medium to full body, long finish, and a slightly aired smoke texture. The pepper is still the main tone through the retro hail, the red pepper spice. Still getting the mesquite wood through the retro hail on the palate. The main tone right now is this dry earth note that's come into the profile. Way underneath that, getting that Granny Smith apple sweetness. And just a pinch of the mesquite wood on the palate has a very faint undertone. So yeah, things are changing up. I don't know if they're changing up in the best way, but they are changing up nonetheless. I'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the second third here right now. Let you know how it goes. Hey, we have come to the end of the second third of this Dorado. Beautiful burn line, nice enough looking ash, and a lot of smoke still. So yeah, at the moment, medium to full body, long finish, and just a smooth smoke texture, no longer arid, which I really appreciate. The main tone through the retro hill is still that red pepper spice, still slightly staying through the sinus. Getting a lot of roasted coffee now through the retro and palate. Through the retro hill, it's right underneath that red pepper. Still picking up the mesquite wood underneath those two other tones through the retro hill on the palate. The roasted coffee is the main tone. Way underneath that, getting that Granny Smith apple sweetness. Also picking up the faintest amount of caramel sweetness as well on the palate as a very faint undertone. So yeah, things have improved a little bit, not by a heck of a lot, but it has gone in the right direction in my opinion. We'll see how it finishes out though. So I'll go ahead and smoke this one down through the end of the final third. And I'll get you the final verdict. 
Hey, we have reached the end of the final third. Beautiful burn line, nice looking ash. Not a lot of smoke. So yeah, at this point, medium to full body, long finish, and a smooth smoke texture. Luckily, the pepper didn't ramp up here in the final third. It is still the main tone on the sinus, slightly stinging through the sinus, but it's not overbearing, thank goodness. Still a lot of coffee through the retro hill, almost matching that pepper spice, way underneath those two other tones, still getting the mesquite wood. On the palate, the main tone is that coffee. Lots of roasted coffee on the palate. Way underneath that, just getting a touch of the Granny Smith apple sweetness. No more caramel note. So yeah, overall, I'm gonna rate this cigar a pleasant. Not my favorite cigar because of how much pepper this one had, but I know a lot of you out there like pepper a lot more than myself. So if you like pepper a lot, maybe give this one a try. But I did like this cigar enough to maybe try it in another size. Maybe a Toro, maybe a Robusto, a more traditional size for me. But for now, this is a pleasant smoke. And one last thing. Do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey. If you've heard this before, feel free to click out of this video now. But do not forget to follow me on Rumble and Odyssey with the way YouTube has been restricting and censoring cigar content lately. It is paramount that you know I'm on other platforms like Rumble and Odyssey, just in case if YouTube pulls a plug on us here, if you watch this on YouTube. So yeah, everybody, this has been my review of the New World Dorado by AJ Fernandez and Figurado. Thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you for the next view.